What's up gamers, it is Dom here back once again. This time we're doing a review of the Goat Guns M1 Garand. Now if you look up here in this little area here, I'm gonna have the video actually playing of me uh, unboxing it uh, for a bit and also just kind of playing around, constructing it of that nature. Uh, but let's talk about Goat Guns. This is actually the second Goat Gun that I have gone and constructed here. The first one actually is the Thompson. I'm gonna show you that. So it's this one. It's this one right here. I love this thing. These little guns are pretty darn cool and amazing here, as you can see. But we're not talking the Thompson today. I should have done a video on that one, honestly, the first time I got it on the go-around. But uh, we're talking the M1 Garand, the all-time favorite of mine here. Uh, you can get it for about $60. It was a Christmas gift for mine, I will say that. So very excited to uh, get one of these constructed there. It wasn't too hard. I will say only just sliding back and... Uh, the little hinge here was a little difficult other than that you know the uh the sling everything here the trigger everything looks fantastic you can even see inside here the little dummy rounds um i, I think you'll give yourself grand pinky you probably won't give yourself a full grand thumb so and uh, it's not gonna make the ping sound so you can just ping and just pretend that it does there but it's a pretty cool little miniature there. The only takeaway that is different from this one compared to the Thompson that you just saw is that it does not have a little stand. And I a little bit of a bummer, honestly, because I feel like the stand is uh, is pretty cool, you know, having it sit on the stand. This does come with the sling, though, unlike the Thompson. So I think, honestly, I would have preferred to have the stand and then similar to the Thompson, be able to uh, purchase the sling as an accessory there. But it's, it's pretty cool. I can kind of carry it around my elbow, I guess, so. But uh, definitely highly recommend there for Goat Guns. Uh, two thumbs up there, not bad on the pricing, not bad on going through constructing it. The sound, if you want to have a uh, miniature replica Garin that you go and assemble yourself uh, for a fairly, you know, 60 bucks, not bad at all there. Do you guys have any experience with goat guns? Leave them down in the comments below. I'm curious what stuff you've gone and constructed there, and I'm very curious to see uh, what one we'll jump to next. If you guys want to see us go and construct more of these and talk more of these little goat guns, uh, I would love to on the channel. With that being said, everyone, we'll see you all next time. Peace out.